Good morning guys. I thought I'm going to show you what's going on in my backyard now. It is autumn and it's the temperature is dropping to a low temperature now and then the plants are done but I managed to um ask my husband to build me this um 10 by 12 um harbor freight greenhouse and Oh my god guys that was a long job long and it's a well thought um project too because i really don't want to put the greenhouse here because it's in the it's in the um, backyard that used to be a um, basketball court and it's just like like a big elephant in there oh my god but the orchid one it's been seven years i, I grow a bunch of um orchids and it's just getting into me the transferring back and forth in the house and then cleaning up the the bugs out of the pots it's just getting it to me and then life happens and so much job and i kind of like neglect a lot of plants so finally i just made a decision to um buy this greenhouse and look at what's inside guys my husband is gonna put um because the lowest temperature here in um in the state um in my location i got a zone usd zone 6b and when i read um the information all about that stuff that we can get into a negative 10 in our area so my husband had this uh idea that to put just um that heater right there in a propane gas look at that this is <laughs> it says it's gonna help but we'll see what happened this is gonna be the first year that they're gonna most of my plants gonna stay here i'm gonna try with the begonias that massive one right there the angel wing it used to be huge but when we move around um here and then the transporting from the other side this one and it somehow broke the top off oh my goodness and i feel so bad for that girl and these are the plants right here the one that they're sitting at is my husband's um newly made i can still smell the wood uh pressure treated wood underneath this um this uh shelving um right here shelving rocks and then uh, it's a six tier six tier um it's kind of like um bleachers but instead of for people it's for plants it's made out of uh, like a staircase things like that but my husband put it like upside down <laughs> it's a six tier that one is really beautiful yeah i'm so grateful for him for making that and uh, i have all these um orchids and i here and there i put some um uh the big one the begonia right there that one is never stopped flowering since um in my florida room last season up until now it's non-stop blooming gorgeous and i have a few orchids in here that's on in spike as well uh, like this one let me see if i can remember which one is it this one here obviously i don't know if it's broken in the top from moving back and forth i got three spikes on this um uh, on cedium and let me see let me see i'm looking around oh this one look at this guys but it's like a, a catlia and this one the zygopetalum yeah and i got a big big potted um cymbidiums in there and my two different varieties orange and and white i think um poor man's orchid right there oh what else are spiking i know i have a few of them in here and this one right here is a the broken pieces of the begonias i'll just stuff it right there 
I'm not supposed to water this thing, but yeah. this one I can w use right now. I can water that in houses because that's why I like the six tier one so that the water can just flow up, flow outside um from the pot without like saucers in it, and then it's not gonna share water from the the upper orchid, so they're not gonna get sick if one orchid is sick, you know. And this one right here. It's only in the shelving. That's why they have a lot of varieties of saucers in here because I don't want this this um upper like um orchid will drip down to the next level to the next. I don't want that. So that's why they like that. It's a little challenging to water this one. And the top layer is my big cymbidiums. I'm I'm pretty sure they're fine in here because I can grow Cymbidiums here and then Ruby and Rural Island because like um they like the cold stuff but not the not the freezing freezing ones but I'm very confident about cymbidiums and then Dendrob Rub nobles yeah I have um I lose them out oh, here I spotted one the one that I told you that I have some sh sheathing right here do you have a it has a sheath this um cattleya right here and i know i have a few more a few more um ancidiums that has um spike in it i just don't know where i put them uh where are they it's just okay i they've been here for two weeks and this is the first time that i came in here and opened the door of the um what's the name of this thing um this greenhouse and um i left the window open so that at least they can have a little bit of breathing um because there's no exhaust um fan in here and i don't want to make a hole right there in the wall it's just this is so new i i know i know that they have to have an exhaust something that i just use the window for now hmm oh i found that one a spike i don't know a few but i just couldn't locate them right now guys like i just stopped them when i was like i'm um, working it was not just make um it makes my time run away from me oh my god when i put this in here i was i was so happy i don't have to clean all the pot with the bugs and then hopefully they can just evacuate on their own i'm gonna try and water them today because we had a rainy days for a few days and i feel bad they didn't get those nice rains when they were in the pergola which is so hard to move because this place right here where the greenhouse is it used to be that pergola and my husband he's such a hercules kind of a man he just like moved it by himself right there oh my god and i can't believe that he did it he did it so i'm so grateful for that see the autumn thing autumn my that's my high bush blueberry guys has to move here and it, this is not a permanent place i i like to put it right here beside the uh, greenhouse because we have to clean the path for my husband to clean the roof of the greenhouse and he said yeah it should, it's my greenhouse but he's the one have to clean the roof and it's quite high because we added we added like another like four inches to the greenhouse because supposedly this greenhouse this bottom right here it's supposed to be in the ground buried in the ground but we don't have ground right here because this is cemented this is a basketball court backyard and now and we added like the four by four oh solid my god so instead of the 12 by 12 by uh, 10 by 12 greenhouse is more than that and the roof is kind of like challenging to clean when the snow is piling up on top of that and i don't want to topple over you know so i still have a lot of a lot of things to do in here to clean up all the sides to make it easier for my hubby to um clean up in the winter what a beautiful color of my blueberries yeah and i still have to put away that extra wood that just finished last week guys it was so painful in the back this is the pergola right here the kiwi is already bald 
the fruit didn't uh, mature into the size that I expected it to be. Yeah, so I still need to take down those um, shade cloth. Uh, my husband can can have the space in here. I promised him that he can have this uh, space for barbecue and all that stuff. But I have to, I have to clean it up. But he doesn't know that uh, here. I mean, next season I can hang some of the orchids here. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best hanging thing. Look at it. it's really autumn here, guys. I've got my um, thing is done, done for the season. That's left over now. The torn brown, my hydrangeas. Oh my god! This was a big decision, guys, because um, also this is not ideal for greenhouse. Really, like uh, by 3 p.m., this one's already shaded, complete shade in here from the um. What is that? That's not a bird. Oh, it's a balloon. Somebody like somebody let out a balloon right there. A group of balloons. Yeah, by 3 p.m. this is completely shaded by the large tree right there. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. It's hopefully this is a successful um conversion for my orchids but this is not all my um plants in here guys i still use the florida room for a, a lot of stuff like that one ginger and my turmeric goes in that side and my um canna lilies will go in the florida room all that stuff yeah but for now guys for now hopefully hopefully this is um experiment that you know will be successful and i still have a lot right here on the floor i don't have enough and i thought i have a big space now and all the bleachers bleachers for plant it's a six tier one and it's still like occupied <laughs> oh my god my husband said we have too much plants and i agree with him that's why i can't order anymore of plants because like I don't know where to put them hmm yeah this greenhouse has um four uh, windows right there I only opened that two because the other two my husband put lights in there you know some it's too high guys I can't open it by myself without a ladder so he's gonna have to figure out something maybe put a stick in it so that I don't have to keep climbing over a ladder is quite dangerous you know so we'll see what happened like I said we just finished this literally like um last um October and it was a pain in the neck you know but oh well and I don't know if I will let him do uh, make another um six tier um bleachers for plants right here like a shelving and stuff because um it's a big job it's a big job and i thought i have to hold plants out again and all that stuff and then uh i don't know because um we don't trust this um shelving right here eventually it would rust if i keep um spraying water on it you know but we'll see what happens things change you know you guys so so far so good my orchids will have their own house and but I'm so proud of this Saigo Pitalom right here and this Katlia oh this one <laughs> that's a new sheath yeah okay guys I think I leave you for um with this in uh video now right here like this it's been a while since I make a video. I was just really tired building this and, you know, helping my husband fetch things for him, all that stuff. But hopefully this one will work out. Otherwise, I'll sacrifice all my collection of orchids right here. Yeah, that would be so sad. But we'll see. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. 
Bye now.